Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com and today we're going to take a look at this Premiere Pro video editing tutorial. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about motion tracking. Now here on Premiere Pro, you technically can't do auto motion tracking outside of masks and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but we can do manual sort of like keyframe tracking. I wish there was an auto tracking in Premiere Elements there is, which is kind of strange to think about because Elements is like a dumbed down, cheaper version of Premiere, uh, but maybe it's meant to be more of an all-encompassing, a little bit of After Effects, a little bit of Premiere. Uh, but if you want auto motion tracking, you gotta send your video or the piece of video that you need to track over to After Effects where you can do that auto tracking. Uh, but there is something we can do here in Premiere Pro using keyframes, and that is what we're gonna look at right here and right now. Okay, so I have this video here, and it's just, you know, a couple a couple bikers cruising down the road, and we're not going to do the full 15 seconds of video in terms of manual tracking, but I have this name tag that I want, uh, and I'm going to drag it out and place it here on video track three. I'm going to get rid of this stupid soundtrack here, uh, and you can see here, it's just this, you know, essentially call-out title, but there's no animation or anything on it. I'm going to grab my little razor tool over here, and I'm just going to zip it at the end of the video, hit the letter V to grab my selection tool. Select the bit, uh, extra bit of video, delete that. All right, we will go all the way back to the very beginning of this uh, video, this this object track really, but it's a video track that it's sitting on. So we need to target the track by selecting this little V3 option here and hit the up arrow key, takes us back to frame one, great. Now what we wanna do is up here in the effect controls panel, we wanna come down here and choose a little stopwatch next to the word position to begin animating. You see how it says toggle animation? Do that, you can see it's dropped a little keyframe right there on the first frame. Now. This keyframe is going to be the initial position of our graphic. Now here is the important part of any manual motion tracking that you're going to do in Premiere Pro. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So here where it says fit, I'm gonna set it to probably, let's just go full 400 here. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna move over. So this is the guy, this is if I was a Harley rider here, I'm the guy in the front and center. See, I'm the, I'm the one that's wanted after all. Uh, this is me here in the front and center. What we need to do is pick a, a point of reference on the object that you're tracking, in this case, the guy on the motorcycle, and also a corresponding reference point on the object that you're causing to follow. So in this case, the object that's following is the, uh, the little call out title here. So what I'm gonna to choose to do is my reference point is going to be this circle down here at the bottom of this arm, and I always want it to be right here on this little patch of his black shirt that's exposed. Not the vest, not the handlebars or the headlight, that little patch of black shirt. So that is my target. So I'm gonna zoom back into 400% here. I'm gonna just scroll down a little bit. I'll scroll over a little bit. And what I can do is I can click on this little icon right here, this like motion icon, select that, and then click out here in my program monitor, hold down shift and just use my arrow keys, left, right, up, down, and just nudge this circle over and boom, right there very easily. I can place it right in the middle of his chest. And now we need to just simply move down our timeline a little bit. So we go from, you see this little blue outline that, that's telling me that our program monitor is what is like actively selected. I need to select my animation timeline. So just click over there. We've actively selected that. Hold down shift and just bump your right arrow key once. And maybe I'll go twice, eh, maybe twice is too much. And I can see here, I'm gonna set this back to full resolution. I can see that my circle at the end of my callout title has moved off of the center of his chest. So once more, um, the motion is already selected. We haven't changed that. We'll just make sure we click on the program window and we can use our arrow keys, just nudge it back to where it's supposed to be. Select the animation timeline, nudge over a little bit. You can see we have a bit of an extreme movement. So click out here in the program monitor, nudge up. Make sure we have the, the target circle right in the, you know, whatever targeted area in your video frame. Select the animation timeline, nudge over a little bit more. Whoa, it looks like this is really gonna be moving a lot right here. Make sure you click that uh, program monitor, nudge that circle right over where it belongs. And then just really speed through this, clicking here in the animation timeline. I'm holding down shift when I nudge to the right so I move a few frames at a time. The further you move in between frames, the kind of smoother the animation is going to look, uh, but you also just wanna make sure that it kind of stays in the same place. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too bumpy. So maybe we could go shift and hit the right arrow key twice. We'll make a little bit more of an exaggerated, uh, an exaggerated amount of time in between keyframes. See how there's more time in between those keyframes. So I'm gonna speed the video up now and I'm gonna just zip through this and get this knocked out real quick and we'll check to see what it looks like here in just a moment. Hey, if you're on Instagram and you enjoy what you're seeing here, make sure you pop over there and give me a little follow. My Instagram handle is at Tutvid. I'll have a little bug pop up here on the screen somewhere. It's a little animated thing. At Tutvid, you can get over there and follow me. Let's get back to this video. 
All right, so there we go. I've just set up all those keyframes. You can see they're all spaced nicely, aside from the ones at the very beginning that we crunched a little bit tighter. Uh, but we can really check this out now. I'm just going to, I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna undo that. I didn't want to move my video track. I'm gonna select over here in the effect controls panel just to deselect that motion, that transform handle that appears around this, and we can just zip through this real quick. I'll knock it down to like half quality so we can, so we can really make sure we watch through smoothly. And you can see how it just kind of bounces along with the motorcycle, firmly keeping that target right in the middle of the front biker's chest. So that's basically the motion tracking that we've done. You can see as the video moves, so does that. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but that's the general idea of like a manual by hand motion track. Now, let's say that this guy is so highly wanted that we need to blur his face out. Well, come down here to the new item button, create an adjustment layer, and yep, that's all okay. We'll drag this adjustment layer out, and I'm gonna place it here beneath the name tag, but above the video, drag it out so it's as long as the video. We have this adjustment layer here. I'm gonna go to effects. I'm I'm gonna come down to video effects, go to stylize, and I'm gonna choose mosaic and drag it and drop it on the adjustment layer. You can see it's only affecting the video. It's not messing with our call out title. That's great. I'm gonna set horizontal blocks to like 100, vertical blocks also to about 100. We get a nice little blur, but I'm going to choose to add an ellipse mask. So just a little circle. You can see we've added a circle and then I'm just gonna grab these points and start pulling the circle in. We just need a little tiny mask that's gonna cover his head right there on top of the motorcycle and kind of nothing else. So I'll just pull this over. I'll make this nice and small. I want to try to keep the mask away from the edge of the call out title, if at all possible. So something like that is great. Now I'm all the way back here at the beginning of my video. I've got the playhead at zero frames and all I need to do is come hit this play button and it will auto track. You can see it's going to take a moment, but it'll auto track this mask motion track that is and follow his face throughout the entirety of this clip. So uh, we're just going to let this do its thing and uh, it'll have this whole thing tracked out for us in just a second here. And you can see it was pretty painless. Now the mask is kind of coming off here, falling off, not quite tracking his face. But what you can do is with this selected, you can just you see how the hand uh, icon appears. You can just always adjust these, uh, the mask, basically depending on the, the keyframe here. And just make sure you go in and just adjust the mask wherever it needs to be adjusted. You can go in and make those changes uh, manually where it's needed. But for the most part, you can see this does a really nice job of just covering up his face and the wanted guy, me, riding my motorcycle, uh, I'm completely wanted to the point where they blur my face out, which I guess kind of defeats the purpose of having the wanted call out title above me anyway. But that's really it. That's how you create, uh, or really not create, but work with motion tracking in Premiere Pro. Unfortunately, at this point in time, Premiere does not have an auto motion tracker other than that auto motion tracker for the mask, as I showed you a moment ago. So for motion tracking, all your things here in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Lads in tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.